Hi friends, welcome to the Lori Lulu Crochet Podcast, episode 71. My name is Lori, I live in the Chicago suburbs with my husband Ryan and our two cats, Dixie and Daisy. And I love to crochet, and I love to knit. I love to sew, but that doesn't happen as much. <laughs> you can find all that uh, yarny goodness down like on my social media, which is all linked down below. Um, that's where is my blog, and also show notes will be down below. My they will also be on my blog as well, um, with some pictures. Um, so any patterns I talk about, yarns that I talk about, they'll be down, linked down below. So welcome, new viewers. I'm glad you found me. And returning viewers, hello again from gloomy Chicago land, snowing, all of that. Also, our heat is on. So if you hear some gurgle, like water gurgling, it's my heater. So <laughs> it's our uh, boiler system that keeps us warm. It's so warm when it's working. <laughs> anyway, shall we get started? First and foremost, I got my hair cut, and I got a lot more purple added, although it's this is a week in, so it's slowly fading. Um, it was a lot darker last week, that's for sure. Um, we did, so pretty much because my hair is a medium brown normally, um, we have to bleach uh, we bleached several sections of my hair and then we put purple all over. So then the bleach parts, the purple really stands out. So this last time we did a lot more bleaching <laughs> and then did purple and then did a darker purple this time. So it was really dark <laughs> this last week or this last time. And, um, on Wednesday at work, we had a Thanksgiving potluck because it's the only time we could fit it in between all the donor and board meetings and stuff like that that's going to be happening over the next month with the holidays. So we decided, you know what, let's do our Thanksgiving potluck this week. And I was sitting there chatting away and the president of Elam walked by and um, one of the other ladies was like, Lori, do you, is your hair purple? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it is. And I'm just kind of glancing to see what the president of Elam has to say about this. <laughs> She's like, oh, it's beautiful. I love, I love it. And then a couple other ladies chimed in like, yeah, it's so cool. And I just kind of glanced up and the president was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It is like, he likes it. I was like. Okay, that's good. <laughs> anyway, um, what else is going on this week? The past few weeks, I had to do the monthly reports again, and things were not adding up. I was freaking out again. <laughs> oh no! Figured out where the problem was fixed it, and now it was fine. I was like, awesome. That worked. I'm so glad. <laughs> so, that was a little off my mind, for sure. So, um, but other things, though, that are weighing on my mind, mostly because it's pain, um, so I feel it <laughs> a lot more. Um, so I think I have like a plantar fasciitis, although I think it's getting better. Like it hasn't been bothering me as much, but like it's this pain in your heel. And then of course, which makes me walk funny, which then makes my back hurt. And yesterday my back was hurting so bad. And then 
you need to go get groceries, especially you need to get groceries for Thanksgiving. So we have turkey, grits, dressing, which is not my favorite, but um, yeah, so trying to pick up an 18 pound turkey, which isn't that heavy when your back hurts and you're leaning over a freezer or a shopping cart. It's not fun. So just came home, took some more medicine, iced it, took a four hour nap and I was great. <laughs> Although this morning I woke up and I was sore again. I was like, man. So when I'm done recording, I'm going to go ice it. And there we go. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I wanted to tell you? I feel like there is, and I can't think of it. Anyway, but I am wearing a crocheted sweater. Yes, this is the Eva Cardigan by Yarn and Try. I'll link it down below. I love this sweater so much. So much. And of course, in this small space, I can't really show you, <laughs> but it's very long and it has pockets, so I love it. Of course, right now, because I have a long sleeve dress on underneath, I'm kind of warm, especially sitting right next to the, <laughs> the heat. So, shall we get on with the yarning goodness? I have... So make some progress, some things that are going to be, I don't have any finished objects. Sorry. You know, but that's okay that I don't have finished objects. It's not a race. Anyway. Um, I have three make some progress, two that I can show you. Because one is a crocheted lady. Everything's done except her hair, and I'm not going to show her without her hair. Sorry. So, the two things that I have to show you are my hand-knit socks. The, the one is at the end of the bed here. Let me grab it. Ugh, I meant to grab it before I started this segment. Anyway, so, these are my November socks. These are um, part of my uh, challenge that my friends and I are doing, the Socks Box 2021, where we knit a pair of socks every month. Um, let me show you. I pretty much am just going to do a vanilla sock on these. Um, I did try a new toe pattern. I do not like it. So this will be the only time I do it. But anyway, so the yarn that I'm using is from uh, the Southern Skein Sock Club. This is from November 2020. Um, it's called Madras Plaid. And then the contrast mini that came with it is called Glow. Um, it is both are um, it's just a sock yarn base, which is 75 percent superwash merino, 25 percent nylon. So this is glow and there's some purple hanging on it. <laughs> anyway, so it's this nice bright yellow and then the madras plaid is this. It's white with green and orange and blue and yellow and brown speckles. It's really cool how it looks. And so these are my socks. Let me say, before I show this to you, I do not like this toe at all. So I tried, so I do my socks two at a time, toe up. Decide I try a rounded toe pattern. Nope, not doing this again. <laughs> Look at how horrible this looks. Anyway, I don't like how it looks. We'll see how it feels. It may feel better than what I usually do. 
but I don't like how it looks. And it took me four hours to do <laughs> the toes. I'm like, this is not worth it. This is not worth it. Um, so anyway, so I have the toes and then I'm working on the foot. And of course, since I'm doing a different toe pattern, we'll see how that affects how long I have to do for the foot. Because usually, um, the wedge toe that I do, I start with 20 and then I increase to 30 stitches on each needle. So it's 60 stitches around. Um, and so I usually do about it's 13 rows for my toe, for my toe. Um, this is way more than 13. Um, so anyway, I usually try to get to 95 rows and then I do my heel. Um, so we'll see how this different toe, cause I started with four stitches and then had to increase to 30. Uh, <laughs> so we shall see how this goes. But yeah, I'm loving the color. Like, you can see just how cool that's turning out. And then I really like this yellow too. I don't like that though. But anyway, it's fun. Oh, I'm going to show you. It's living in my stitch bag. Um, so Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. And then um, I put on my Beauty and the Beast pin, which says tale as old as time, because that's what I was watching while I was winding up the skin. So, anyway, two great movies to watch while you're knitting or crocheting or whatever you're doing. Anyway, my second pair of socks that I'm working on are living in my Wonder Woman bag. These socks are for my mother. Um, so I've done a pair with this colorway before. Um, I'm calling it my, it's yarn that I dyed myself and I'm calling it the Lori Lulu sock set because it's the colors of my logo. And since mom gave me the nickname Lori Lulu, might as well give her a pair of socks <laughs> with that nickname, with that name. So, um, oh, where'd it go? Oh, you're in here. Nope, it's not. <laughs> Never mind, because I attached it already. So, here's the color. Lori Lulu. It's white, purple, pink, and yellow. And then... This is the contrast color, a darker purple. Love, love it. So, you've seen these before. This is actually the wedge toe that I usually do. Um, so I just did a small stripe of the purple. So I was here the last time you saw these. I've gone pretty far. My goal is to get these done and give them to her when I see her at Thanksgiving or Black Friday is when we're going to see them. But anyway, and as you can see, this side is so much darker than this side. That's probably because of the way it was dyed, which is my fault. But anyway, I don't care. It'll be fine. It's on the feet. And I also put a secret code into the socks using Morse code and pearls to do the dots and the dashes. So anyway, so yeah, so I've already attached the contrast color so I can start on the heels. I'm going to be doing the shadow wrap heel, right? Is that what it's called? I'll put it on the screen. Um, 
It is by, well, I we don't know who created this, but Denise from Earth Tones Girls, she released a pattern with it in it, and she released a tutorial on how to do it. Um, her last episode, she was like, I did not create this sock pattern. Please don't attribute it to me. So, but she did the tutorial. So, there's that. Oh, and so I have Wonder Woman, and of course I have Mary Poppins on my Notions back pouch. So anyway, those are my makes in progress. Okay, for things that are going to be coming up soon, my plan is to finish my crochet lady. And she's done. Um, I wanted to start on some crochet projects. Um, there's no, like, they need to be done, but there's no, like, time limit on it. It's not for Christmas or anybody like that or anything like that. Um, it's just stuff that will help keep me warm <laughs> in these cold winter months. Um, so, being that I have a new job, and I am in a new building. Learning the quirks of like the heating and the air conditioning and all of that. <laughs> um, they did warn me they were like, yeah, it gets cold in here. The heat doesn't work very well. I'm like, okay. So I was like, fingerless gloves, fingerless mitts, that'd be great. That's what I want to do. But then um, as we're moving desks and getting the new desks set up and all of that the maintenance guy was like well while i've got room here let me just check the because it's a boiler system like we have here at the house that's what we have in our building <laughs> he's like oh this valve is closed so that may have solved the problem it hasn't been there are a couple days where it's like oh it's kind of cold in here um, I could use some fingerless gloves or mitts or whatever you want to call them just to keep my hands warm but anyway so the pattern that I found it's called fingerless mitts but it has actual like holes like finger holes so I'm gonna say they're fingerless gloves anyway it's from Cascade Yarns it's a free pattern it is called Arched Cuff Fingerless Mitts. So, black and white photo, sorry. I've had this pattern for a while. She's cute. Anyway, so that's what they look like. So, the yarn that I'm going to use for them uh, is dyed by me. It's, so the, I forgot to mention this earlier. Um, with the Lori Lulu set, sock set. The yarn is Knit Picks Fingering Stroll um, in the bare colorway, and then you can dye it yourself. Um, this is another one that I dyed myself. This actually, I had help dyeing this one. Um, this is, so this is Knit Picks Fingering Stroll. And then the ladies that I knit with on Monday nights, they helped me dye it. So it's all these fun colors, and I call this my Love Knots colorway. Um, I made a hat with this already, and I paired it with this lavender. And so I, think, I thought, I'll do that again, and so it'll match the hat, all of that. So right now, it's living in my... Mary Poppins bag, um, cause you know, gotta love Mary Poppins. And the pin, of course, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, are we gonna poke it? No. Anyway. So those will be started hopefully this week, I can get started on those. And then I have some more yarn to do more fingerless gloves or mitts. Um, it's not a fingering weight, it's a DK weight yarn. Um, I found that, I got this at the Michigan Fiber Festival 
um, in August. And it is Allegheny Fiber Arts. It's her DK weight. It's 100% Superwash Merino. <gasps> it's called Color Wheel. Is the name of the color. It's a colorway name. And I love it. I think it's so pretty. And then I found this mini skein. It's a DK weight mini skein called Kaleidoscope, which you have these gorgeous colors. I thought, oh, I'll put those together. And then I looked at it and I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyway, I'll definitely be excited to have mirrorless gloves that are a little bit warmer. So those are my things that are going to be started soon. And then in the midst of all that, I remembered what I wanted to tell you. So today is the countdown is 73 days to our Disney cruise. So excited. <laughs> and so, um, we've been ordering things, you know, to get us ready. Um, obviously, if we're going to do Disney bounding, um, which is where you wear normal clothes, but it's in the color scheme of your favorite character. So I have a red polka dot skirt, which you saw last week um so i could be like Minnie mouse and then we ordered ryan's red pants so he could be mickey <laughs> they're great i love it so super excited about that but then we had to order um so when you on the cruise your door is metal so you can actually stick magnets to it and, and talking with my coworkers who go on cruises all the time and they do they do other cruise lines. They don't decorate their doors. But on Disney Cruise, you do. And so I had to order special magnets for our door. Um, yeah, I'm just so excited for this. Um, but first, I have this backpack that I found. Um, so the Disney store near us was going out of, was closing. And so I got this for 50% off. And so I figured this will be great for the first day, especially. You need to keep all your papers and stuff because you check your bags in at the, you know, like when you walk in. And then you walk around the ship for a while before your stateroom is open for your, um, bags are there so like if you need medications or sunblock like or your swimsuit if you want to go swimming before you're allowed to get into your stateroom you need a bag to hold all the stuff in so i thought this would be perfect for that but inside <laughs> are my magnets that i ordered oh my gosh they are amazing so the, it's um, a little shop on Etsy called Grayson Tags and More. I will link them down below. They specialize in Disney stuff for sure. Um, but so this is the big magnet that I ordered. So we're going on a Bahamas cruise in 2022 on the Disney Magic and then the Keo family, which is us. <laughs> Just the two of us, which is fine. And then I ordered special name magnets with my favorite character. Can you guess? Any guesses? <laughs> it's Mary Poppins. Yeah. And Bert, of course. So, um, there's this one, her Jolly Holiday outfit. And then Bert's Jolly Holiday outfit. So I had to have these. She had to do a special design for this. Um, cause, so they had Bert's Jolly Holiday outfit. But then the Mary that they paired with it was one. Um, the red coat that she's wearing when they're going across the rooftops. And I was like, they need to match. 
match. They need to match. And of course, I love the Jolly Holiday outfit. It's my favorite of hers. And of course, I just love the song. So, my stateroom door will be so cute. I'm so excited. And then we're going to be so cute in our Mickey and Minnie outfits. And then um, some part of the Facebook group on our for our cruise. And somebody posted, um, well, our cruise just went on sale because they're trying to sell more because it's not full capacity, which is a good thing. I'm excited about that. Not having so many people. <laughs> but, so cruise went on sale so it's like oh can we get a better price on our rooms or can we um maybe get an upgrade on our rooms I was like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity if they're not selling as much maybe we can get like a veranda room or a deluxe room or something instead of paying the, like the cheapest room we can afford <laughs> so we did my, so my friend is our travel agent and so she got on the phone with Disney and we're getting a veranda room and we got $30 back. Like, that's amazing. That's amazing. So, I'm super excited. I'll have a fancy room. Yeah. 73 more days. Although by the time you watch it, it'll be even less. Anyways, can you tell I'm just beaming? I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, enough. I will let you go. This is probably a shorter episode. because I don't have that much to show you. But anyway, I'm going to get to work. Get to work on some of this stuff. Get it done. And then I'll have more stuff to show you next time. So I'll see you later. God bless. Tell it's purple <laughs> in this gloomy weather. Okay, we're just gonna bring this back so it doesn't bother me the whole time I'm recording. <laughs>